Hey, welcome to Richard Childress Racing. I'm Wade Anderson, Product Specialist Manager with Akuma America. I'm Rocky Helms, Director of Manufacturing at Richard Childress Racing. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the MB5000 Horizontal with the 6 APC Automatic Pallet Changer. But first, Rocky, one of the things I think is kind of interesting when I think about RCR, I think about uh, race engine components, chassis components, but you also do manufacturing outside of the race industry, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So four or five years ago, uh, Richard came to us and tasked us with trying to uh, branch out beyond just the racing stuff. And we actually basically do job shop work now for other customers, not just motorsports, but also military and defense, aerospace, medical, um, and other avenues. Okay. So how does the 6 APC tie into that type of production manufacturing? Um, the the MB5000 really has become a workhorse on our horizontal side when it came in. We wanted to be able, if we were going to try to take on outside work, one of the key factors of that was not interfering with our racing operations. You know, Richard wanted us to bring on outside work, but also at the same time, at the drop of the hat, if, if the race side needs something, we got to be able to react to that. So with the 6 APC, we can have multiple fixtures, multiple tombstones, and operations set up. So if we are running, say, a spindle, or a center link, or a pitman, or an idler arm, or, or some engine component, and we have an outside customer that comes along and they want a specific part, we can we can break into that, we can run so many of this part, and then we can run so many of the, of the outside customer's part, and, and not interfere with the racing side of it. All right. So being able to tie in automation, you're doing all your upfront checks through a, a CAM software, you're testing out your programs, proving out the process on the machine, dry running parts, making sure everything aligns and works the way that it, it looked like it would have and can. Then after that, you can set up to basically run lights out operations. Yeah, yeah. So when we go into the CAM, we have our verification there. We run through the simulation. Uh, we have NX, so we have a simulation there. We also have NC Simul as a technical partner. So we run through simulation there. Um, then we go to the machine, we'll machine interlock it, we'll run it through uh, graphics, looking for alarms and errors and stuff so like that. So explain machine interlock for anybody that doesn't know what that is. Right, so you can put it in machine interlock and basically it simulates running through the program, looks at all your offsets, uh, tool parameters, stuff like that, looks at the code, but it doesn't physically move the machine. Uh, you can do it as a restart E or whatever, it skips through the program really fast looking for alarms and it might throw up. If we didn't see anything in the simulation side, but a tool offset was set wrong or something like that, it'll show up on the, uh, the uh, machine interlock side of it running through graphics. So Rocky, I think it's really interesting to see the transition that Richard Childress Racing has made from beginning with a vertical machining center to so tying in all the lights out manufacturing that you now have between the Armoid robotics, the multifunction machines, as well as the 6 APC, the, the pallet pool on the horizontal. You guys have really come a long way through your manufacturing process. Can't wait to see what the next 20 years together looks like. Thank you for joining us with this series with Richard Childress Racing and Akuma America. See you next time.